Hi, I'm Miles Budimer. And I'm Lisa Eitel with Design World Magazine. Uh, we're here in Auburn Hills, Michigan at ABB's Customer Days event. And to... Uh, the customers day, Customer Days event and the opening of a new manufacturing facility here in North America. Uh, the first one, I think, of its kind right here in the, in the, in the U.S. Yep. Uh, so we just, we just had a tour of, of, that, of that new plant. And uh, we got to look at some of the demos as well out on the out on the floor. Yeah, and uh, so we've assembled a little collection of snippets of things that we saw. Uh, please enjoy. In May 2015, ABB began producing robots in the United States at its facility in Auburn Hills. The new plant is ABB's third robotics production facility, after one in Shanghai and another in Sweden. The plant will manufacture ABB robots and related equipment. The company has locally invested more than $10 billion since 2010, taking local employment to more than 26,000. Here are some shots from inside the new robot factory. We think it's no coincidence that the facility is so close to Detroit and guess that ABB will serve Ford and other automotive companies while hoping to expand in other markets as well. Managing Director of ABB Robotics, Pervergard Nurseth, says that the new manufacturing presence elevates ABB's service to customers in the U.S., Mexico, and Canada with faster delivery and technical support. After the opening ceremony, we and other attendees went to a showroom filled with several dozen ABB robots and components. The main floor was flanked by classrooms where instructors held classes covering dozens of robot topics but the main floor was informative too. In one display, ABB had robots working in tandem. Called the TRX, short for Twin Robotics Press Bar, the setup demonstrated how two robots can do press-to-press -press transfer in a fast but controlled fashion. In another display, ABB gave visitors a sneak preview of the ABB IRB8700, the biggest scare yet. We have heard that the 8700 will be released soon. The one we saw had a track specifically designed for the automotive market, a flexible body shop cell that plant operators can configure to multiple products, in this case, the chassis of a car. Movements inside the cell are synchronized by an ABB programmable controller with a common framework within the robot. Other robots on display were an IRB120 robot, palletizing and depalletizing small boxes on and off a mini pallet, as well as an IRB360 flex picker with an extended reach and an IRB460 for high speed palletizing, capable of up to 2,190 cycles per hour. The four axis robot has a reach of 2,400 millimeters, occupies 20% less floor space, and runs 15% faster than its nearest rivals. Also on display were several painting and welding robots and cells including an IRB 6700 with a Trumpf Programmable Focusing Optics or PFO Scanner Laser Welder. Most of the welding robots were set up to demonstrate accurate motion coordination for faster cycle times and improved tolerance of joint fit up gaps. Another feature is adaptive sensing for weld seam joint tracking. This tracks variations in the weld joints and proactively corrects the robot torch path. Then our own Miles Budimir got to chat with Carl Vaus, CEO of Soft Robotics. This company had their gripper on display at the ABB event so visitors could see it in action when mounted to an ultra-fast ABB Delta robot. Listen in. Hi, Miles Budimir here. Uh, I'm in Auburn Hills, Michigan at the uh, ABB Robotics plant. And uh, I'm here with Carl Voss yes. with uh, Soft Robotics. And uh, so you've worked with ABB to uh, develop this robot. So could you tell us a little bit about it? And Absolutely. So at Soft Robotics, we build um, soft elastomeric hands, grippers, if you will, for robots. And okay. this allows robots to handle random objects like fresh fruit. In this demo, you'll see there's an apple, there's an orange, there's a pear, and there's a chicken leg <laughs> that are all being handled at high speed. This ABB robot, it's an IRB360, it's a very high speed robot, it can do 120 to 180 moves per second, okay. it move, and it moves at 6G acceleration. Oh, wow. okay. And so the ability of that robot to move quickly and handle objects of very different shapes, sizes, and weights without damaging, because self-robotics is a very conformal technology, so we're able to 
really take a lot of the complexity out of the system, but bring a whole new level of adaptability and conformality that doesn't exist in robotics today. Last but not least, we got to see ABB's collaborative robot called Yumi. Yumi is faster than comparable cobots, but carries lighter loads. ABB thinks that electronics industries will make the most of Yumi. One final note here. Some predict cobots will boost productivity by up to 30% in many industries, while lowering labor costs by 18% or more in developed countries. Yumi has dual arms, flexible hands, camera-based part location, lead-through programming, and precise motion control, but has a lightweight magnesium skeleton covered with floating plastic casing wrapped in soft padding to absorb impact. If Yumi senses an unexpected impact, such as a collision with a coworker, it can pause its motion within milliseconds, and the motion can be restarted by pressing a play button. Yumi also has no pinch points so that nothing sensitive can be harmed as the axes open and close. So thanks for watching.